boo. Ah, I'm just joking, Gizmos. Oh, I'm so excited to film this video. Happy Halloween, Gizmos. I know it's the favorite holiday of a lot of people, including mine, especially because I can finally wear this lipstick without looking like I did things with a Smurf. So, <laughs> really looking forward to it, Gizmos. Today, we have something special. It's a really great treat for you. Indeed, in the literal and figurative way, we are going to be making snacks. I know you can't see my table here, but it's filled with snacks. Don't worry, we'll fix that soon. Are you ready to get into it, Gizmos? Let's be chefs today, and let's do this. Okay, Gizmos, so here, now, we're going to be making like three or four things, really. We're going to start with the grate. Let's start first with this bowl. So, this bowl, as you can see, it's foiled because it's white on the inside, and we're going to be doing a lot of crazy things right for Halloween. First, I have some gummy worms, or also worms. For purposes of this video, we're just gonna say they're warm. Super freaky, super scary. First things first before we start making things in the kitchen is to have our hands fully washed. Let's remember that. Super important all the time. And remove all jewelry. So, bat ring is gonna have to go. Okay, Gizmos. Now, first I'm gonna put these in. Let's pretend that that one didn't just fall. As you can see, it's right here. And then I have some other things from a fun bag. Now I have teeth. So you can see if I get like really close to the camera, if I put my palm here, like it's 2011. So we have teeth and half of the teeth fell in. It's okay, that was totally planned for. And we have berries, but the berries look like brains too. So look, I'm gonna take one out just to show you guys. Ah, okay. We got the teeth here, dentures. And we have two types of berries as well, as you can see. Here are the berries, but they look like brains. Don't worry, I touched those, I'm not putting them in. We're very hygienic here. I'm just gonna put a few in because I don't know if this is gonna be good. I'm pretty sure it is though. Guys, I've, I've done this a million times before. You guys don't fear. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in Chamoy, oh yes, it's the mega original, super sweet. You can get this anywhere at your supermarket. Make sure to shake it up right before we start. And now, now's the good part so it's completely preferential how much you want it's pretty sweet but it's also spicy you know the favorite more <laughs> now these are scary gummies so i do want to have them like fully done now oh as you can see oh yeah it looks delicious gizmos plus it looks like jelly inside so it looks like i killed someone took out their dentures and their brain a mini person but that's not done now we have two different types of miguelito or sauce as you can see i really like it and we have cherry one as well so i think i'm gonna put uh, no i'm gonna save this little bit i'm gonna put the cherry one cherry looks delicious all right, so now this one is also, ooh, a lot comes out, so be careful. And, little boy. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough. Ha. And of course, you can make it your own here. Like, this is the first snack that we're preparing for our movie night. <laughs> I totally forgot to say this. We're preparing snacks for movie night, Gizmos, because, you know, Friday the 13th this year fell on fell in October and we also have Halloween and other great holidays so grab your movie snacks that's what we're gonna be making yes a little late in the video but you know you're here for fun anyway now let's see mm, let's see what goes into this next blue bowl as you can see there's not a container I mean there's not any foil because we're not dyeing it red at all Yes, we are going to make tricks. Well, we're not actually gonna make tricks, but we are going to put tricks in it. Just because when I'm watching a movie, I always like to have a little something that's sweet and a little something that's salty and also, no, I think that's about it. Oh, something that's spicy as well, almost forgot to say. So, this is special tricks, it's Halloween tricks. It's okay, it's okay. And it's going, it's Halloween tricks and it has marshmallows in it. Not the one with the yogurt balls, we all love those, but we discontinued now. So let's weep and eat our marshmallows here. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm not a killer, I'm not gonna put my milk first, and I don't eat cereal with milk when I'm watching movies. I just eat it like that and just dig in. That's our second snack. Now our third snack, oh yes, because what's a movie night without popcorn, of course. 
So, I'm going to be shaking this Valentina here. Now, it's hot sauce. It's very good. And now we're going to be putting it because hot sauce is really good on popcorn. If you guys haven't tried it, don't knock it until you try it. It's really delicious. And it's completely optional how much you guys want to put as well. I like to put a lot because I like it to get down, down under too. So uh, that might not be a lot for you guys, but this is kind of a lot for me. So then of course you can always put more. That's why you always put the snacks with the condiments at the same time. And now, I'm going to put lime, of course. One or two limes, full limes, I mean half limes or fourths of a lime. It's all good. Make sure to de-seed them before because otherwise that's not gonna go well and you're gonna break your teeth or it's gonna be very sour and very gross. If you have an actual lime thing that takes out the, the, <laughs> the seeds and everything and you don't have to do it with your hand, then go for it. Now I have to wipe my hands. And the last thing is I also like to put mielita on it. So this is why I saved this one because this one is just regular flavored, not cherry. So here we're going for it to be not so sweet. You can also put tahine on it as well. I like that. And I like to put soy sauce too. But I feel like that's too many condiments and I don't want my stomach to hurt. So, okay, that got everywhere. But it was good. It's good enough. Really delicious. Now the next thing is the secret condiment. I can't tell you what is in here because it's secret, obviously. It's actually empty, but I really wanted to use it. Normally salt goes in here, but it's popcorn. So if you guys are crazy, go for it. Put more salt on it. I mean, knock yourself out, but I don't need more cholesterol in my popcorn. So that's gonna stay there. And now ready, gizmos for one of our last things that we're gonna make. It's going to be our spooky drink. Oh yes, it's gonna be really great. I love this because I saw this idea online and I really like it. It's going to be blue Gatorade here. No judging, shake it up, remember. Ugh. Okay, there we go, should have pre-opened that. And now we're just gonna pour it all in. Don't be scared, it's just blue. And there, because I don't know how good this is going to be. No, I'm joking. I'm not being like some weird scientist here. We're just going to um, put a few things in our concoction. First, I have these eyes, which are really cool. I'm not sure where we got them, but like this, as you can see. Oops. Okay, so there are different colors. I'm going to use one of each color. And they're actually ice cubes, but they're with plastic here. So, and it's really cool. I don't know, I really like them. So see how it looks? Now you can have a cold drink, extra refreshing, and it can be watching you at the same time. Super cool. And now, I'm going to have this. This is the secret ingredient. It's going to be blood. But not blood of anything, just blood of a unicorn here. A few drops. Should have put that before the ice. Oh, but look. Yeah. Now it looks super scary. Ready for your spooky drinks. It's blood eyes inside a drink, inside a blue drink. So you could say it's demon blood. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do watch a lot of animes that have to do with demons, so that wouldn't be the first. And of course, that's not the end of the spooky drink. We also have these two little eyeballs here. They're super cool. They're marshmallows. I think they're marshmallows. I'm not actually sure. They're marshmallows. They're marshmallows. I did not eat any of these things before. That comes after. It's my favorite part of filming this video and why I've been looking so forward to it. And I have two straws so you can share with your spooky someone as well. Now I'm just going to pierce. Don't worry, my hands are clean. And I pierced the eyeball. It kind of misshaped, but it's okay because it's not going to be a regular human eyeball. It will be a cyclops' eyeball. I, we had to kill two cyclops for this video. No, I'm kidding. No cyclops were actually harmed during the making of this video. It's okay. And there we go. Ha! That's awesome, Gizzles. And now you have your spooky drink. Okay, let's put these together. And spooky drink, Gizmos, with eyes inside and eyes on top as well. So it's a perfect sharing drink. I also have a few cuter things too, but I'm going to set all of this up and show you guys. So stay for the grand finale. So Gizmos, now you can see all of the great little things that we made. We have our drink with eyeballs, Cyclops eyes. And then we have, I only put two or three drops in that drink. Maybe just go with one because now the water has turned completely red. But just one or two drops. Don't make the same mistake I did. And then here we have our super ensemble 
bloody brains and bloody teeth. My mouth is watering as I'm seeing it. And then we have our cereal to go something sweet, but not too sweet, with our super hot popcorn that has lime, Miguelito, and hot sauce on it. I also got a couple cool other things at the grocery store, like these pumpkins here, like this one. Uh-huh, so we're gonna put these here. I only got two. And a sugar skull. Oh yes, it's super cute. His eye already fell off, but I glued it on. It's okay, I'm sure I've ingested worse. And I also got this super cool Reese's pack. I've already opened it, as you can see. But it has Reese's bats in it. And it also has Reese's bats, sorry. Reese's pumpkins too, as you can see, our pumpkin chocolate. And a Reese's ghost I know so we're just gonna spread these out I have six left and we're gonna spread them out here like all around so that our guests can be content and fight for the six Reese's that there are <laughs> so finally gizmos this is our spooky snack for snack night oh yeah movie night snack night I mean the only reason why I watch movies is to snack right <laughs> Boo. Ha, I have to stop doing that, Gizmos. I'm going to scare you guys into a heart attack. But here we have our spread right in front of me. Oh, yes, it looks really delicious. I'm going to lift it up because my tree can get lifted up and hope it doesn't fall. Oh, see, it's so cool. And it's all themed for your October nights. Obviously, next year because this video is coming out in Halloween, on Halloween. But, well, I hope you guys enjoy. Enjoy your Friday the 13th. Well, I hope you enjoyed your Friday the 13th. Enjoy your Halloween. Go out, ask for many candy. Feliz Halloween a todos, espero que lo disfruten mucho, que salgan, coman, coman muchos dulces, no se roben ninguno y vayan con sus hermanitos a pedir. <laughs> so I do hope you guys enjoyed this video a lot with all of these spooky snacks here and I hope you enjoy your movie night even more. So what are you waiting for? Go to your kitchen and let's do this gizmos! <laughs> Happy Halloween! Bye! <laughs> Now I'm gonna try this because it's been eyeing me, uh, eyeing me like all day. But let's see how good it is. It tastes like blue Gatorade. Yeah, definitely put way too much dye. One or two drops will be enough. And, oh, I'm scared. Let's see. Uh -huh. mm, mm -hmm. Gummies are super hard mm, to talk at the same time, but delicious. Go try it yourselves. Bye.